Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. I am now finally sitting down and relaxing for the rest of my day. I did housework this morning and husband had to work today. He just got home and my son, he's been being a typical teenage boy playing video games. So now that my housework is all done and I'm sitting down relaxing, I thought I would go ahead and jump on and do a video for everybody. Um, this is going to be a whip and chat as well as answering some get to know me tag questions. Um, currently, I am working on Ice Princess. I just got it kitted up today and on my light pad. I was not going to do any new paintings for starting off 2020 because I do have several that have already been kitted up and started as well as several that are just kitted up waiting to be started. But there's a creator here on YouTube. There's actually two creators here on YouTube that are collabing together <clears throat> on Hannah Lynn pieces from Diamond Art Club. They're each doing a different Hannah Lynn piece, but it's going to be Hannah Lynn between the two of them and they have invited um, subscribers as well as other YouTube creators to join them in doing a, a handle in piece. I will link both of their YouTube channels to in the description box below so you can go and check them out and if there's a handle in piece that you have and you'd like to be able to join them in this um, I'm sure they would appreciate it. There will be a giveaway that's involved in this. So again, I will link their uh, channel in the description box and you can go check them out. Um, also, please hit the subscribe button. If you're interested in checking out more of my videos, please give the, my video a thumbs up if you would like and please share. Um, if you need to contact me in any way or have any questions or if there's something for you would like me to show on my channel, I have my email address and my Instagram as well as my Facebook um, page linked in the description box as well. So I'm all kitted up. I haven't laid, a, laid down any drills yet. That's coming up next. But I also want to let you know I do have an unboxing that will be coming up this week. I'm not quite sure which day it's going to be, but I will have an unboxing coming up. and. I will be showing a, I'll have pictures actually, that I'll be showing of a piece that I finished. It was from 2019. I finished it on Wednesday of this past week. So let's go ahead and get into this. Please know this is not a channel for children. So if you are under the age of 18, please, I request that you please leave my channel. This is a channel strictly for adults. And also, my husband and my son both are home currently, so if you hear any noise in the background, we li we're living life on the weekends, husband watches sports, son plays video games, so you might hear, hear a little bit of commotion in the background, but I will try to keep that at a minimum. Let me go ahead and mute my phone because I'm guaranteed to get some distractions or disruptions. So let me go ahead. I'm going to start with number nine here, blue. And I've already made a mess with my drills. Sorry about that. All right. So for my first take question, it is, where did I grow up? I'm originally from Ohio, northeast part of Ohio. Born and raised, I lived in Ohio um, until 2000, and I moved to California, and I was in California for about three years. Then I lived in Texas for about seven months and did not like Texas. It's too, too hot, too humid, and too many big bugs. I don't like bugs. I don't like snakes. I don't like spiders. And yeah, they had a lot of all of the above. 
So I moved back to California and then I lived in Utah and then I moved my family back to Ohio and six months later I moved back or I moved out to Las Vegas which is the second question where do I currently live I currently live in Las Vegas Nevada I've been here since July 3rd of or July 2nd of 2007 and I don't like it again I don't like to be hot but this is where my husband's work is so this is where we need to be until he retires third question who is my best friend that would be my husband my husband is my best friend he is my soulmate he's my partner in life he's my partner in crime he's the person that I can tell anything to and who I know will always be there for me and have my back number four how tall am I well I used to be 5'4 I'm now barely 5'3 just no, well, I'm like just over five three. Dogs or cats? <clears throat> Sorry for the sniffles. I think I'm trying to get a cold. My husband has a cold, and he's trying to share it with me. We share everything, and he tries to share his colds included. All right, so dogs and cats. All right, I'm I love both dogs and cats. Um but my husband is not fond of cats so I will not have a cat I do have a dog I have a chihuahua he's a rescue we've had him for it was four years ago that we got him just this past Black Friday we adopted him from the Animal Foundation and uh, yep he's my buddy he's he's my best friend in the fur baby sense. All right, funniest moments through high school. Tag question number six. Um, yeah, I can't think of a funniest moment in high school. I can't think of anything. Yeah, that's, I was looking at that question before starting my video, and yeah, I couldn't think of anything then. I can't think of anything now. So we're going to skip this one. What year was I born? I was born in 1972. And number eight, have you, or are you, excuse me, in or have you gone to college? Yes, I have. Um. I took some college courses in 2000 or in, uh, yeah 2002 and I wanted to be a nurse that was my goal I had been a nurse's aide for several years and I, I wanted to become a nurse was going to school but it, school and working a full-time job wasn't working out real well my school hours were interfering with my work hours so I had to take a leave of absence from school for a while I finished my semester that I was currently in, and then I went ahead and withdrew. Um, then I got hurt on the job, so becoming a nurse wasn't an option for me. Um, later on, once I decided what I did want to do, I went to school to become a medical assistant. I went to Kaplan University, or Kaplan College, here in Las Vegas. And that was in 2014. Graduated in 2015 and was not able to work because I had to end up having a back surgery. And then three years later, I had to have neck surgery. So I have the diploma, but I don't have the paycheck that comes with the diploma. What is my favorite drink? Well, that depends. Um, 
My favorite hot drink is, it's a toss between, it depends on the time of the day. Hot coffee in the morning, um, hot herbal tea in the evening. On a hot summer day, which we have a lot of them here in Vegas, it would either be iced tea or lemonade. I'm trying to drink more water these days, so yes, that depends. If it's an alcoholic beverage, um, I don't drink a lot of alcohol, but when I do, um, if it's beer, which I'm not a big fan of beer, but if I do drink beer, I like to have Corona with lemon. And if it's just a, you know, sit down, just feel like having a relaxing drink, uh, Captain Morgan and either Diet Coke or Werner's ginger ale. But again, I don't drink very often. What is my spirit animal and why? I don't know my spirit animal. So um, that's something I'm going to have to look into. I have to look that up and answer that at another time. You're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Um, my mother-in-law used to wear, she's since passed away, but she used to wear Philosophy. It's a product you get from, from Alta or QVC. I think they're actually selling some of that at Kohl's now. But there was a scent that she used to wear that I just love. It's called Amazing Grace. It's a very soft scent. And then there's another one called Vanilla Lace, I think, is what it is. So... But first one, yeah, if I was wearing perfume, it would be Philosophy's Amazing Grace. Um, I answered this farther back. Um, number 12, tea or coffee? Again, it depends on the time of the day. Coffee for breakfast, tea for relaxing in the evening, herbal tea, or Earl Grey tea for in the evening. What are my life goals? Well, at my age, really, my life goals now are just to be the best person that I can be. Be the best wife I can be to my husband. Be as supportive and patient and nurturing as I can be to my husband when he needs it. To try to be the best mom I can be for my 15-year-old son. Yeah, just to just be the best person I can be in general. And I apologize for the shaking. I'm going to need to get a new table that's a little more st um, stable. So I apologize for the shaking. But yeah, just, just be the best person I can be. And, you know, make the right decisions, which we all know. We don't always make the right decision the first time. Um, I made a lot of bad decisions in my lifetime and when I was younger. and. As I've gotten older, I'm hope I hope that I've learned from those bad choices and bad decisions, and moving forward, try to to make better choices. What sports do you play, or have you played? Um, I don't currently play any sports, but when I was younger, I did play volleyball. I played softball. I was on a co-ed softball team. And I was also on a school volleyball team. But that was a long time ago. Number 15, have I have any books you've read changed your life? No, not really. Um, when I read books, I like to read. I mean, I love to read. I absolutely love to read. But the books that I read are usually... You know, crime or thrillers. Um, I love love to read books that um, are crime related, police detective type books and and thrillers. 
So yeah, none of them, nothing, no books that I've read have really changed my life. What is my favorite movie? <sighs> um, that's a hard one. I like, there's a lot of movies that I absolutely love. So to have to try and narrow it down to just one is difficult, but I love um, Shawshank Redemption. Um, anything with um, Tom Hanks in it. Um, yeah, there's just too many, but I, I would have to probably say Shawshank Redemption. Who are my favorite YouTubers? Well, Mrs. Coffee, Mrs. Uh, Crafting with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. She was my very first um, diamond painting YouTuber that I watched. And she had mentioned uh, Stitcherista during one of her videos. So I went and I watched her. So loved them both. Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Absolutely. She's so down to earth. She's so real. Same with Stitcherista. There's no candy coating. They don't, they say it as it is. They're bold and upfront about it. They're real and they're both hilarious. So I love them. Rachel Ray. Shout out to Rachel Ray. I love her to death. I absolutely love her. She's so calm and so relaxing. Um, I love listening to her stories of Ireland and love seeing her dog Luna. So I would have to say those three are my favorite YouTubers. Number 18, do you speak any languages and how well? Um, English is my primary language. I can speak and know some Spanish, but not enough to carry on a conversation. But if somebody asks me something in Spanish, um, like where the bathroom is or something, I could tell them how to, where it's at. I know what they're saying and I can respond back. Am I single or taken? I am taken. I am married and have been, it will be six years this June 30th. Um, me and my husband have been together. It will be 13 years on June 30th. We got married exactly uh, seven years to the date of getting together. What is my idea of a dream date? Um, anything that's quiet and relaxing. It doesn't have to be out and about anywhere. I'm perfectly content. Sitting at home with a bowl of popcorn or make some nachos or something, you know, some kind of a little snack food, cuddling up on the couch with a good movie. Just anything that's, it doesn't take our, you know, real attention away from one another. Or if our attention is away from one another, it's sharing the same um, interest at that time, whether, like I said, be a movie or... Um, just light some candles and cuddle up on the couch and listen to music. Um, just anything that just is me and him spending time together. Don't have to go and do anything and spend a lot of money to enjoy a date night with your spouse. Because it's not about what you're doing. It's about who you're doing that, you know, with. Dates don't have, you don't have to be showered with gifts and, and spending money on it, on a date to make that date memorable and enjoyable. It's just, it's who you're on that date with and how much time you uh, want to be invested in spending, you know, focusing on that person. Uh, how long was your longest relationship? I'm in it. 13 years come June 30th. 
Um, how would I describe my fashion sense? Comfortable. It's all about being comfortable. I prefer sweatpants and stretch pants. I love my flannel pajama pants. If I have to put jeans on to go someplace, I want it to be quick. I'm walking in the house from wherever I've been and I'm already beelining it to go and put my sweats or my flannel pajama pants on or something. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, tank tops. I want to be comfortable. So my fashion sense is all about comfort. What is your go-to hairstyle? Easy. Wash it, throw a hair product in it, run my fingers through it, blow it dry, call it good. Call it a, call out a do. How many siblings do I have? One. I have a younger brother who's four years younger than I am. And that's, that's it. I have um, some stepbrother and sister, but only one brother, you know, from same mother. Um, what is my go-to fast food order? Taco Bell. Um, we have Burrito Supreme. Two crunchy tacos and a pinos and cheese. Or... <clears throat> Um, Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich or a crispy chicken salad mar uh, to market salad from Chick-fil-A. Mm, 26. Do you use PC or Mac? Um, PC. Number 27, your most memorable, memorable, excuse me, vacation memory. Um, I really haven't been on vacation. Not really. Um, when I was a kid, we didn't take vacation, you know, go, go anywhere. When my dad took time off and he took his vacation time from work. It was to catch up on things around the house that needed to be done or just spend some you know quality family time at home. So I really haven't been on a vacation. We've gone away for the weekend, uh, me and my husband. So we've gone to California to watch a, a baseball game. But you know, really no vacations. 28, what are your morning, evening, or routine? Morning? Evening routines. Well, it depends on what I have going on one you know one day from the next. But generally, um, I wake up, I drink my coffee, grab my phone, and catch up on Facebook or YouTube. And uh, once I'm awake enough, I uh, start doing laundry. If I didn't run the dishwasher the night before. Um, I went to bed, then I'll start running it that right away. Or um, if I have ran it, I go ahead and unload the dishwasher, make the beds, get the house straightened up, run the vacuum, cross wave my floor, whatever housework needs to be done, then take a shower and plan whatever I'm going to have for dinner. And then sit in diamond paint for a while till my husband gets home and make dinner. And then now we're into the evening, packing his lunch for work for the next day after dinner, <clears throat> cleaning up the dinner dishes, making sure everything's put away, and then sitting down and either watching YouTube while I'm diamond painting or binge watching something on Netflix. 
And yeah, that's about it. Do I have any bad habits? Well, of course I do. Um, I'm a smoker. Yeah, I have my own opinion. I don't need anybody else's. I know it's not good for me. And I do plan on quitting um, at some point. It's difficult. So um, I've tried several times and have not been, what you could say, successful. Um, other than that, um, I coffee. Coffee is definitely a habit. Caffeine. But um, other than that, no. My bad habits are, you know, I used to have a lot more than I have now. I used to be a nail biter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but I get acrylic nails, so now I don't. I can't bite my nail. Don't bite my nails because I'll break my teeth. Um, and I have braces, so I can't bite my nails. I'll break my braces. Um, but other than that, no, that's about it. Number thirty. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Um. One thing about me that you wouldn't know. Hmm. Oh, wow. There's a lot of things about me that you wouldn't know, but... Some of these questions that they ask are really, really difficult. Well, when I went to uh, college, when I went to Kaplan, in my seventh month course, I missed one day of class during the entire seven months. And I would not have missed that day had the front end of my truck not gone out on my way to school and was not able to get to class. But had I not missed that day, I would have had perfect attendance. But when I graduated, I graduated with a 3.9 GPA and high honors. So, yeah. That's the one thing you wouldn't know about me. All right. And I extended these questions. There was initially 20. I think, let's see here, yeah, no, there was 30, but they extended it out and added some more, so we'll go ahead and continue. What is your favorite Netflix show? Uh, if they're talking about Netflix originals, I haven't seen any of the Netflix originals. I usually watch um, either regular movies that I didn't see in the past or rewatch series or start watch a series that I didn't get to see the first episodes or seasons of in the past. So as far as my favorite Netflix show, um, I don't know. Um, I guess I could say Call the Midwife would be my favorite Netflix show. I enjoy watching that. Show us your songs tab on Spotify. Show us my songs tab. Well, let me see here. I don't know if I can bring it up. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not able to bring it up because I'm on here. So, yeah, I can't show you my favorite song. I'm showing you my songs tab. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> what is the craziest thing that I've ever done? Um, drove all the way from 
Ohio to Las Vegas. <laughs> Um, I don't do a lot of crazy things. Um, I'm pretty conservative and pretty simple. I'm not one to put myself out there. I could actually probably say YouTube is actually now my craziest thing I've ever done. Starting a YouTube channel. Because I am very much an introvert. Um, keep to myself. I'm a homebody. I love to be home. Love to be in the comfort of my own home. Um, I don't like to be around a crowd of people. Uh, I just like being, you know, just live the simple, simple life. My son, my husband, myself. Uh, describe my first crush. My first crush was my high school sweetheart father of my of two of my daughters we dated in high school um, my mom and me when my mom went through a divorce we moved too far away we I was relocated to another school in another town and we were only 14 15 years old so it's not like we could drive or ride our bikes or something to see one another so um, we had to break up. We were heartbroken. But later on, um, after we graduated and <clears throat> we were older, we ended up getting back together and we had two beautiful daughters together. Um, the saying, you can never go back. Yeah, that's true because things, we'd both changed so much. Of course, I mean, we were 14, 15, well, we were actually, thir I was 13 and he was 14 when we got started, started dating and um, we were together two years when we, me and my mother moved and then we got back together um, when I was 19, almost, no, I just turned, yeah, I just turned 19. Um, we changed a lot. We were together seven years, uh, but it just didn't work out. The only, you know, we, but we ended up with two absolutely beautiful daughters together, so I will never regret that. I'm grateful for the time that we did have together and my two daughters. Okay. What was my dream job when I was a kid? Oh, sorry. Next one. Sorry. Who was your childhood best friend? Well, that kind of goes into my first crush. My childhood best friend and my first crush are why we are no longer together. <laughs> yeah. My daughter's father and my best friend um, kind of got together. Yeah. He cheated on me with my best friend, and my best friend cheated on me with him. So, yeah. But we were friends for 13 years. No. <clears throat> Let's try that again. 85, 2005. Yeah, 13 years. Me and her were best friends. Um, we met <clears throat> the first day of the eighth grade. Outside, both of us sitting outside the counselor's office to get our schedules straightened out. And she looked over at me and asked me what my first name was, or asked me what my name was, and I told her Missy. She said, that's my name. She asked me how old I was. I told her 13. She was 14. And I spent the night at her house that night. We were best friends that from that point on until... She left me, or until she left me, till my best, till my um, father of my children left me for her. Yeah. So, moving on. What is your favorite genre of film and why? Crime and drama. Same with my books. Um, I like suspense, but I don't like horror. Um. 
I just like to see, I just like to watch the, you know, the dramas, whether it be crime and drama or medical drama. Right now, currently on TV, my favorite television series are um, Law and Order, well, SVU, Special Victims Unit. I've always, even going into the 21st season, I love Special Victims Unit. I love New Amsterdam, The Resident, um, All Rise, Prodigal Son, the Emergence. Um, I like to watch Riverdale on the CW. Um, yeah. Just the, they catch my interest. Number eight, what was my dream job when I was a kid? <clears throat> I was a toss up between being a journalist or being a nurse. Um, as much as I wanted to be a journalist, yeah. I didn't like school enough then to go on. And by the time that I did go on to college, it wasn't to be a journalist. It was become a nurse. And yeah, I didn't end up doing either. I was a nurse's assistant for 17 years. So I did get to somewhat, you know, go on to do part of what my dream job would have been in the medical field, but not to be a nurse. What is my coffee order? Um, Starbucks, hot coffee, uh, white chocolate latte with extra shot of espresso and whipped cream. Cold would be the iced coffee, um, the cold brew with coconut milk, an extra shot of, of espresso and whipped cream. Uh, frappuccino would be a mocha frappuccino. And at home, I get either coconut cream, carnation coffee meat creamer, or um, the Starbucks white chocolate mocha. What is my favorite thing to order on Uber Eats? I don't know. I don't order on Uber Eats. 